we haven't played in in a good little while and we hadn't practiced any Christmas songs but we wanted to just sit down here by the fire and hang out and just try to do a few because I so wanted to or we, we both did so wanted to have some some music on the channel for Christmas so we just thought what the heck we'll just sit down here and enjoy it and see what we can come up with this wood stove is cooking yeah it's pretty hot so actually the water it's not quite boiling but it was bubbling we keep a pan of water there to try to put a little bit of moisture back in the air because this stove really dried out down here it's really hot and the pot it looked like that water was boiling for a minute i was like oh my gosh well it's also it was four degrees this morning on the day of filming this and it's ele about 11 right yeah. now unusually cold for north carolina here 15 20 25 mile per hour wind yeah you know it wouldn't be that bad but that wind blowing on you is what makes it completely and totally miserable i actually had on i've got a long sleeve shirt on this is a wool sweater and then i had one more wool sweater and then i had a down coat and i had a wool hat on and a wool scarf and i also have wool socks which i wear wool socks Pretty even, much in, even in the summer i don't know there's just something about natural fiber on my feet that i like better all right i do apologize because i think i might need my phone for some lyrics so i'm sorry for that but while we're also making announcements, DJ, I love this bandana so much. I wear it a lot. Thank you. And I would be wearing my favorite long sleeve uh, tie dye shirt right now, but I'm saving it for Christmas. I want to wear it on Christmas because it's kind of Christmassy. I'm feeling a little bit stuffy, but we'll give this a go anyway. We good. This is a Merle Haggard song. You ready? Merry Christmas from Merle. Yes. <laughs>
talking about um, the preacher last one of the last sermons he preached was about Jesus and about Mary and all these different things and it was just really interesting I just had an epiphany I was like you know something of course they didn't have a crib they didn't have anything all they had was a cattle trough which is a main what they call a manger and they put hay in it and they laid him down in it and that's all they had and of course that that's of an extremely humble beginning but if you really think about it the most interesting thing is we think a lot like we think about that around christmas like at christmas time we think about baby jesus laying in that manger but it seems like all the rest of the year you kind of think about him being grown you think mm -hmm. about him being like 20 30 because in the bible it says that jesus died when he was 33 and so if you really think about that what what that would have been like if jesus was in heaven <clears throat> and he was up there in some form or another he was already up there and then god sent him to this, this Mary, to this Virgin Mary, Mary has this child. This child grows up to be 33 years old, so 30 years, or at least, you know, in our understanding of time, into adulthood. And you think about that, and then you think about the sacrifice. What God would have done—that was God's son, His favorite son. He loved his him, only His only son. And then to take him from up there, mm -hmm. and for Him to be willing to do it, and bring him down here. And that's, that's the most humbling part, that he was born as a, as a human, that he was born as a man. I've heard that before. How all convenient is that, that God just created this man and sent him down here, and then he died and he got to go back to heaven, and that's the religion you believe in. But if you really think about that, that's a, that would be a lot. That'd be like you giving up your own child to be sacrificed for the good of everybody else. And then Jesus having to leave, how wonderful that must have been in heaven to come down here. And that's what it means by humble beginning, to be born in human flesh on this old earth as one of us to this woman. And then grow. He had to grow to adulthood. And then in the Bible it talks about when Jesus was 12 years old, he was in the synagogues and in churches uh, quoting scripture to people. And then all along that journey, Jesus grows up through 12, 13, 14, all the way up to 33 years old. And so it's just, it's really fascinating to think about that, that full circle. The kicker is, that's God's humble, that's the part of the story. That's why it had to be that way. That sacrifice is what makes it foolproof, is what, is what keeps Satan from being able to say, well, you just, now, no, I didn't just choose anybody. I chose my own. That's how serious I am, that I sacrificed my own son and in for truth, this. That's, that's the true love and the perfect love, and that's what God is, yeah. is love, because sending his only son to die for Everybody. the world's sin, and of course, like, our generation, our line of family was probably not even thought of being born yet mm -hmm. at that point. So his son is a sacrifice to save everyone's sin and that's where grace comes in because of course we don't deserve it but that is the his love that's what can break your fear that's what can break sickness that's what can you know give you hope that's what can just kind of chase out all the bad negative dark stuff is that he loved us enough to send his only son so we might not perish but we can have everlasting life and have a purpose and have a, a reason. purpose and have god with us always and that's that at this season that is the greatest gift of all is your salvation and there would have been no great intercession there would have been no trinity complete with the holy spirit had jesus not died been born on christmas and then died on a cross later for us to all be pardoned from our sin and then have that intercessor <laughs>
We landed, so but we landed, so that's all we're worried about. Nobody's getting their money back for their tickets. Nope. So we're baking like two baked potatoes at this point. And, and I said if I was gonna hot. if I was gonna be a baked potato, I wanted bacon bits. <laughs> <laughs> I just want butter and salt. Okay. Alright, all right. we gotta go upstairs and try to cool off, but we hope that you've enjoyed this video. We made a lot of mistakes in these songs because we've not played them in a while, but I've had a blast just sitting here playing tune to my favorite person in the world and oh. having a good time and we just we just hope that you have a wonderful christmas and look out for tomorrow's video we're going to put out a video tomorrow on christmas day and we hope that everyone just has a great christmas and like i said in one of the last videos we just want to reach through and and you know be your family even if you yeah. have family we'll just be those extra weird cousins that's i was gonna say we can just be the weird cousins that nobody knows where they come from but they come out of the woodwork on christmas that's us all right we love each and every one of you god bless you god keep you uh put out the milk and cookies for santa tonight and we'll see you tomorrow <laughs>
Oh Lord, you got the sickness. <laughs> Look, it says, my daddy can't afford no Christmas here. I always thought it said, my daddy can't afford no Christmas gifts. Oh. 29, 20, 20 miles, 20, 20 years. Can I please have another piece of bread? Can I please breathe more air? Everyone watching this is gonna be like, we're waiting on this YouTube channel. We're waiting for the day that Katie and Corey, especially Katie, grow up. Grow up. And I'm gonna tell you right now, you'll never We're see never that gonna day. grow up. Because I'm always gonna be We're like always this. gonna have the humor of just a two year old. <laughs> when I'm 80, I'm gonna be doing this, and all the other 80 year olds are gonna be begging for mercy. Please be quiet! But hey, I'll be there. I hope. 